Hello once again my friends, I am Marksman, and today we're going to be playing some more Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles. We're going to set out on our journey with Mark, and we're going to go across the Deadly Miasma Stream. Now, not a lot of people are aware of what a Miasma Stream is because they're very dangerous in this world, and we got the right element, like I said before. So the way these work is you can only cross these Miasma Streams if you have the right element. Right now, we have the right element. This is a water miasma stream, but there are fire ones, wind ones, and even more scary ones later on, such as unknown. So let's cross the miasma stream. Oof, it's always so creepy. But I love that, that like, that like, oh, it's such a satisfying, like, defensible thing. But it's strange because Ah, don't get out there! Did I fuck myself? I think I fucked myself. Oh no! This is a problem! Oh no! I think I'm gonna die! Ah. Oh no. What did I do? Why did I do the things that I did? Why did I do that? I'm an idiot. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, so don't leave your freaking chalice behind like a dumbass. Hold on, what does this guy have to say though? What? Confounded a miasma stream. Can't stand these things. They're so irritating. We Moogles aren't phased by a miasma, but these places give us the creeps. But for you people, the danger of miasma is always on your minds, right? Travel would be more pleasant if we didn't have to worry about places like this. On the other hand, it would also be pretty dull without a challenge now and then. These streams can both can be a bother, but what doesn't kill you makes you stronger, right? It's true. It is a creepy, like, area, that's for sure. As a kid, these plays creep me out. Probably more than the first boss did. But if you haven't seen the first episode, I highly recommend it. I explain a lot of the mechanics of this game. If there's something I missed, I'm sure it'll be picked up quite quickly, because there isn't a whole... There isn't a whole heap and helping of a lot of stuff going on in this game, really. I mean, there is, but it's not like... It's not like you're gonna have your mind blown by anything, probably. So here we are in the Iron Mine Downs. I could go to this town, actually. This town is not a place, it's a... Or, it's not a, it's not a bad area. I can actually just stop off here and look around. It's a nice area. They got their own giant crystal to defend them. So you can wander the town freely, which is nice. I can also talk to these people, and they'll sell me stuff, or I can buy stuff from them. So I could sell this vegetable seed, sell some of the stuff that I got from the last area that I wasn't too keen on. I could sell the bronze belt, because that is not for my character. But I'm thinking about making the bronze armor, which is going to help me out in the next little area. So let's see what else they can sell me. Let's see if I need anything. I would like to buy some iron, but I don't have any. And mithril is basically a pipe dream at this point, so... Warrior's weapon does sound nice, but not sure if I need that quite yet. So let me go talk to Blacksmith. Smithy! I can make... Novice's weapon? No, I cannot. Cannot be crafted here. I need iron to make the novice's weapon. So I will be on the lookout for that. I wonder what it takes to make the warrior's weapon. I might as well buy this. Yeah, buy. That way I'll be ready for it. But what does it require? Warrior's weapon. Ooh, iron and alloy. Okay, I'll be on the lookout for that then. Because I'd rather make the warrior's weapon than the novice's weapon. So what do you need from me? You are here for my armor. Can I do it? Ah, oh, it costs 100 gil? I don't have that kind of money on me, dog. I'll be back for you, though. Don't worry about that. Alright, let's go take on the mushroom forest. Alright. So we're gonna go down here. We go to the left. Go on into the mushroom forest. 
When I was a child, I once asked my mother, where did I come from? She answered, why, we all sprouted from the mushroom forest, of course. Nightmares soon haunted my sleep. I dreamt that I was lost among the toadstools. I awoke in tears. I felt the warmth of my mother's embrace as she comforted me. It is something I still remember to this day. Mom was kind of a dick. You grew up in the mushroom forest. You hear that? You're a little fungus. You're a parasite. <laughs> you just leech off of us. We're gonna move out, kid. Yeah, anyway. This is the mushroom forest. And in comparison to the first area, this place is not only still beautiful and visually stunning, but uh, quite amazing looking. Like, very different visually from uh, from Riverbell Path. And I'm really happy about that. It, it, this place is very well designed. This entire game just has so much character to it. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. There's actually a lot of attention to detail that you will soon understand why I say that as we come closer and closer to the different um, time periods. So, this is the first year, and caravans are only sent out once a year. But, uh, things will change. Things about these levels that we've already been to will change over the years, which is actually really interesting. And there are a lot of levels. This is just two out of a lot. I haven't even seen all of them myself, I don't think. Because this game takes a while to progress. It is a, an RPG, after all, technically. I guess. Is it an RPG? I don't know what defines an RPG. I have to go around. I'll carry this for you. Um, personally, I, I just really like the aesthetic. I like Dude Moogle. You need to chill your, chill your dick, dog. I'm, I'm carrying the chalice. He gets really antsy, both when you do and don't carry the chalice, so... Eight, 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 eight,
Thank you for the Mage Masher. Okay. Be careful. Be careful, be careful. Get him. There you go. Honestly, though, this game is just so cool. I, I don't know why. Maybe I just have an inherent bias. Maybe it's just the nostalgia goggles, but I've always loved this game. And I think it's a very well-designed game overall. In the Mushroom Forest, I feel like fire would be helpful. And you'll also understand why I equipped Cure, or cle Clear, which casts very fast. But uh, it basically relieves all status ailments. So if I get poisoned or something, I can cast Clear on myself. And it'll clear. It'll be clear. It'll be clearly now the rain is gone. I'll be able to see clearly now the rain is gone. And you know, I can see all the obstacles uh, in my way. Thank god they're dead. Those double axe. If it's a huge benefit to my to my damage or strength, then I'll probably take that. But if it's not that big, I'll definitely be taking uh, probably an HP up if there's one, which is nice. I like HP ups. Having five hearts is nice. This the motherfucker needs to die. Drop some bronze, which I might either send to my parents. Or, uh, sell? Depends. You need to die, thank you. Food seed. Crystal ball. I don't know what the crystal ball can do. I actually have no idea. I think this is nearing the end of the level. That guy is dead. Only took one and a half shots. I can send them another design for a bronze salad if I wanted to. Which might actually be what I do. Who's this? Bronze armor? I already... Dog. I already dog. What do you got? Novice's weapon. I already... Dude. <sighs> These people. <coughs> Dropping stuff that isn't relevant to me. But not anymore. I'm actually going to put the chalice down right here. I'm just going to try and kill this guy. It's fine, it's fine. It's fine. Just take the damage. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. It's all fine. Gonna make this one hurt, dog. Come on. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Koopo? Koopo. Go! Koopo. Koopo! Come on! Koopo! No, no, Koopo. Wait, I didn't get hit by his. I didn't get hit by his spell. I think it's the first time I've actually never been hit by that spell. Oh, I strike. I figured it out. Oh no. Clear. Clear. Clear! Thank you. No, clear! Okay, now cure. Just defend. Gosh dang it. This guy keeps poisoning me. Come on. There we go. Koopo. Koopo, buddy. Koopo. Fight with me, man! It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Just... Cure myself. Dude! Enough of your poison, stupid, man! 
No, I'm going over here. Fuck you. And another? This dude is in bad breath. Ooh, Thunderstrike! That was cool! Koopa's ready for another spell. Koopa! Oh, fire strike. Dog, you were on fire! Get him! Yeah! Get down with the sickness, more like. <laughs> get it? Because he's. He's spitting poison. Poison breath. Yeah, you get it. You get it. <coughs> Yay. Yay. Okay. Now the crystal's sitting in myrrh. Which is interesting. Interesante. Zer interesante. And now we get our mail, Moogle. We get to read our mail again. I'm probably going to send them a design for the weapon. Might as well. What's up, mail, Moogle? Thank you for my mail. I appreciate it, buddy. Alright, it's a letter from my mom. Send me money. How does it feel to be out on the road? We miss you very much. Is there anything you need out there? Don't hesitate to ask for anything you need, alright? I need more money. Send an item. I will send them the uh, novice's weapon. Where is it? There it is. Because I have two of them now. All right, thank you, Mail Moogle. Appreciate it, buddy. See you later. So long. That guy's so cute. Those Moogles are so cute. Don't use focus attacks. Well, that's just something I did literally constantly. No big, no big. Oh, okay. So there is health. Strength, one, 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 one. Yeah, let's just go with health. Cool. And now let's see what we can do about making myself a new weapon. Now, see, I have five hearts now. Cool. Let's see, I need to sell some stuff. Sell, um, and sell my fruit and vegetable seeds. What's a crystal ball? I have no idea what this is. I have 181 gil. I can sell my novice weapon. I already have bronze armor, and the bronze salad is not for me. So there we go. Let's buy. Do you have alloy? Alloy. 250! Dude, what? What? You trying to freaking. Dude. What? You're crazy, dog. Alright. I'm gonna sell my Phoenix Downs. This is a bad idea and you should never do this. But I'm doing it. And I'm selling one bronze and my silver, which is also probably a bad idea. But I'm doing it. Alright, buy one alloy. A horrible, horrible, horrible idea. Don't ever do that. But I'm doing it. Warrior's weapon. Fiend 300! 
Oh, the worst! What can I sell? I need to sell- I'll sell my fucking soul to you, lady. Just... 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 Okay, okay, okay. Cherry cluster, sell. Cherry cluster, sell. Rainbow grapes, gourd potatoes, sell. Oh, we have enough. Beautiful. Okay, I'm doing it. I'm building the warrior's weapon. Yeah! Steel blade! Oh, that's beautiful. I want to see it in action so badly now. But next time I'll build armor. Because you know what they say, a best defense is a good offense. So, there we go. Probably be able to kick some serious ass, though, with this new weapon. I'm excited. Let's do it. Alright, thank you guys very much for watching. If you enjoyed and you want to see more content like this and many other things, of course, subscribe if you want to see more. And we'll come back with another round of Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles. I love this game. Thank you guys for hanging out with me. And as always, I'll see you next time.